China's Ministry of Foreign Affairs is responding to claims from Japan that it breached its airspace on Monday. Here's what they had to say. 关于你提到的事件，中方的有关部门正在了解核实相关的情况。This incident comes after Japan reported that a Chinese Y-9 reconnaissance plane breached its airspace near the Danzhou Islands. That's near southwestern Japan. This would be the first confirmed instance of China violating Japan's territorial airspace. Tokyo says that it responded with scrambling fighter jets and is summoning officials from the Chinese embassy to explain what happened. These Y-9 planes usually operate around Japan in Taiwan's air defense identification zone or ADIZs. Just to be clear, these are military buffer zones different to a country's airspace. So this means that China breaching Japan's sovereign airspace is a big deal. Here in Taiwan, two years ago, there were concerns over what would happen if a Chinese plane passed Taiwan's ADIZ and breached Taiwan's airspace. The defense minister at the time said it would be considered a first strike, and Taiwan could shoot it down. This incident is raising questions whether China is increasing its presence in this region. Now it's up to Japan to figure out how to boost its defense and prevent an instance like this from happening again. Joseph Wu and Hamiokan in Taipei for Taiwan Plus.